Welcome to the talk about Polygen. The title of the talk is Ending Flame Wars with Polygen. And we will see how we can use a software tool to end flame wars. I don't see Amaya. She wanted to come. She's just standing outside. Okay, pull her in. Can we wait? No, no, because I, I, I need her for something. Um, in the meantime, I'll show you something about Polygen. Alright, we have Good. Uh, things you can do with Polygen is, well, generate text. You wait to get install Polygen, and then you have it. You do man Polygen data, and you see some of the text that you can generate. Uh, for example, you can have Genius. Which generates Q&A. So if you want to add some Q&A to your um, pages for your um, favorite software tool, that's automatic. And you can have it do it for you. Very useful. Or uh, in case you use Photoshop, you can get hints for it. Or, well, other many things, like uh, if you want to make a video game, it will get some names for you. <laughs> it's got like, uh, if you want to make a playlist of hardcore metal song, again, <laughs> it can do great stuff. But that's out of the box, that's uh, upstream, right? Um, Okay, uh, what, I, what I did, well, once is this. I went to a science and technology study conference and I've been reading for the titles of the proceedings and so, well, <laughs> it, they've been into my brain for a while and I put them down. Uh, all right. <laughs> but let's have a look at how Polygen works. Polygen works just like Bison. Uh, okay, that's the side vertically as well. Uh, you know Bison? Uh, it generates um, a grammar parser. So you can tell it... Oops. You can tell it our grammar is made, so we have an expression, this for algebraic stuff. We have an expression, which is either a number or an expression plus another ex expression, and so on. And then Bison will generate a parser for it. Uh, so who's not familiar with Bison? That's how it works. You have a... Oh, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, wait. Oh, so nice, with the arrow. Um, you have a non-terminal symbol, which expands to a set of possible instances of the grammar. And then, well, you have, you can, you have other non-terminal symbols, so a line is either an empty line or an expression, and an empty line, and so on. And then in Bison, you attach, well, code to it. Polygen works exactly the same. You define a similar grammar, very, very similar, and uh, what it will do is generate an instance of the language. <laughs> Just as easy. If you want, you can use it to test your software. That's another use of policy, but it's too serious. So we want do Polygen for testing. We want to end flame wars with Polygen. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look on how to build a grammar for Polygen. Polygen has a really nice manual in user share doc. So this is a very simple sample grammar. <laughs> um, it generates uh, answers from uh, FTP master people. <laughs> you can define, the, well, you have to define in Polygen two non-terminal uh, 
One is the metadata non-terminal and the other is the uh, main uh, non-terminal for the grammar. <laughs> so that's metadata, title, author, language, whatever. It's useful when you submit it upstream, they will put it in the Polygen website. And that's the main non-terminal. It generates either nothing or no. <laughs> <laughs> this symbol is nothing. So then we do How polygen. How do you generate underscores? Uh, within quotes. Okay, very nice. So we do polygen Elmo and it was... <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think uh, nothing should be more probable. Yeah. Okay. So we, we have the first uh, step. We have to control the probability of things, right? So we do the second, well, we evolve a bit. Polygen is a really advanced tool, actually. So we see ML1. And we can actually control the probability of things. And we can say that most of the time they don't answer. <laughs> <laughs> so. When you put a plus on top of one uh, part of the grammar, you increase the probability. Actually, what it does is it expands it in something kind of like this. There's two plus, mm -hmm. and we'll kind of repeat that. It changes the probability <laughs> like in that way. So we're going to do polygon L more one. Nothing, nothing, no, nothing, no. Doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's the idea. Uh, well, general idea of Polygen. Let's see some more features. Uh, this is, generates uh, uh, taglines for my presentations. Uh, let's have a look. Right? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so let's see some new features. So we have um, um, if one word, unquoted word, has a capital letter, then it's a non-terminal. If it's a small, if it has a small letter, oh uh, sorry. If it's not capital, it's a normal word. Words are joined with one space in the middle. And, uh, okay, so you have the main grammar is this one. Actually, another feature is that... Uh, You can add the uh, non-terminals to the metadata. Mm -hmm. So when you ask Polygen about the metadata, <laughs> it's going to Polygen. Uh, by the way, Polygen uh, man Polygen data changes for every release <laughs> <laughs> because most grammars reuse the non-terminals in the metadata. Okay, so we can have uh, uh, the 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 main thing that calls other non-terminals. We can define as much as we want. And then every non-terminal has, well, they have different implementations, and, and then you can control the probability of things. It's pretty all right. Simple enough. Okay. So how to get the metadata, Polygen. Am I right? No. One only dash. And that's the metadata. <laughs> okay, this is more like it. All right. Oh, I got my email address wrong. Whatever. All right. Let's see some more things, and let's start into the uh, topic of um, solving flames. Um, okay, this one. There was a problem with Indian women, with um, people that approach you on IRC and try to pick you up. Uh, so I generate a grammar that would solve the problem. Totally. By making some satire. <laughs> Actually, it, it helps running it through FMT. <laughs> I 
And since it's IRC, it helps to run it for Biff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Once you put that in the wild, no one is going to harass you like that anymore. They will have to have a bit more fun. Okay, let's see what came in. Uh, okay, so we have a salutation, introduction, compliment, a self-introduction, some compliment, and a proposal. The curly brackets that you see here, I so much like that, and how I discovered about it yesterday, and so happy. How are you doing that? Uh, it's Gromit. What? G Gromit. Gromit. A package called Gromit. Okay. It's such a great package. And, um, alright, these arrows means that all the items between the, 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 all the items between the curly brackets can be swapped. Mm. So sometimes I have salutation, compliment, introduction, proposal, and sometimes I have salutation, introduction, compliment, and proposal. And then I have a salutation, which is like, hey, or hi, and then person, or cutie. Could be also baby, but then, well. Um, which again expands with some of the Debian, of the usual targets, for these sort of things. And uh, some introduction, and so on. <laughs> Now, here's a new feature. This one. Looks a bit strange. Um, if I don't put this one, what I have is that I have 50% of possibility of having QD and 50% of having one of the names. But what I want instead is to have an, an even a probability of all of them. So this greater than signs means expand person in line. So it basically gets replaced by all this. That way I can have, yeah, more, I can group things and have a bit more control on things. All right, then we have other, uh, okay, minus, minus, minus is the opposite than plus. And well, this would be like a real compliment, which doesn't usually happen on IFC, so I <laughs> reduce the probability of it. And this would be like a real proposal, which means that people are serious. It doesn't really happen in IFC, so again, we lower the probability of it. And that was one. So let's see, we have another pickup line, a bit more. Uh, this is a bit more advanced. It's kind of the same version as before, but it does a bit more. Well, <coughs> there was another... Okay, here. It tries to make a nice, more articulated compliment. It can say, you are something. We can see it on... Um, you are a hacker. Or... Um, well... Well, that doesn't happen that often to show, but all right, well, whatever. Uh, we can make it generate some more complicated phrases like uh, uh, you are uh, a pro, you are so pretty, you are the coolest. Uh, and well, language is a bit crappy, you have like all sort of concordance, like you can put A in front of something. You can have to put N in front of something else. So Poison allows you to define a non-terminal here with some kind of modifiers in the front. So we can define that these ones are names, these ones uh, are adjective, these are superlatives, and then I can use them. You are a name, or you are so adjective, or you are the superlative. Or I can just use quality somewhere else. So I can actually choose to use them all, to use, or to use some of them, choosing which one. And this is useful to start matching articles with names. All right, the rest is pretty much the same. We have another one, which is this um, hat sign. There. Moment. Good. 
this sign over here. Uh, it means uh, uh, to join without spaces. Polygen by default concatenates with <coughs> spaces. In this case we want to add a comma after the phrase, so we don't want a space before the comma. And this sign exa does exactly that. It avoids having a space in front of it. Okay, so that was another future. What the hell? Okay. Right? And we've seen a bit more. So that was to exercise the crappy pickup lines. Now we have the problem with flameworks. So a major one is the hot babe one. And we can generate <laughs> uh, pieces of the hot babe flame. <laughs> and so on. And here we can see a bit more of the polygen features. For example, uh, grammars can be recursive. So I can say that the main non terminal calls itself. And that will have a repetition of things. So you can either say nothing, but that's unlikely. <laughs> Or, well, you have a phrase, sorry, which is followed by nothing, or uh, a conjunction of some kind, and again, another instance of the language. And then, okay, you are, and here we see again the modifiers, you can be an idiot, or you can be a fanatic, and you can actually get them all. Uh, you have optional words, so you can say where is freedom of speech, or you can say, where the fuck is freedom of speech? <laughs> so the squares gives you a half, a 50% percentage of having it. If you want to control it more finely, and you don't, you don't just like 50%, you will have to do it with the expanded form. And then you can say that people swear more often than not. <laughs> but then, for the purpose of demonstrating things, I leave it like this. All right, and then okay, and also, and then, but they are optional, so I can also have, have just and. This is already like something basic we have. All right, so with this one, we defeat the hot babe flames. And then, what's the biggest problems in Devin Devel? Of course. <laughs> well, I swear, I went through five or six of his emails and just picked up phrases and put them in. <laughs> and so on. Okay, so <laughs> this is a bit more complicated, which shows a bit more features of it. Um, slash, this slash here means a capital letter. I mean, ever, like a, a piece of text has to begin with a capital letter, but then you want to recycle words, so you can just say put a capital letter at the beginning. Actually, it's maybe clearer if I just separate it. Oh, it's confused with C. So I said, well, this course, it's all, you see, not capitalized. But then uh, I make it capital with this. This course, dot, and then a conclusion may be repeated. And then the discourse, it's, uh, well, okay, us usual things. And conclusion, well, pick it, I mean, Adjective and phrases I pick up from the email. It took, it's been really quick to put on this grammar. <laughs> and you can see ways of expanding it to a more consistent way. So, this is a bit of how Polygen works. We have another one here, the one for the algorithms. You see, I had to put pluses in front of the number. 
because uh, exp can expand in things that call it twice, so it tends to <coughs> become exponentially long and uh, blow up polygon stack. <laughs> so I had to I had to suggest that it should mainly choose numbers, and uh, I remove a space before the the minus sign in case of a um, uni. Uh, well, the, the negation operator, and I remove space between parentheses and the expression. All right, a number is a number followed by other number, again removing the space. Optional number, removing the space. Now you have an idea of what polygon is, and uh, if there is some flame that's pick up like and gets really annoyed, just have to make a new grammar, post it to the list, and ask people to do something different than what's generated by the grammar. Uh, or submit it to me, I can put it together with the Polygen um, package, Polygen data package. Um, Polygen man page is generated by, generated by a Polygen grammar as well. <laughs> But then the only thing, I, I made it quick, so the only thing that's really generated is this. So it should be improved. That's a call for command ownership. Then other ways of invoking Polygen. Okay, there's another one that I created, just. <laughs> 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 for your entertainment. M more ways of invoking Polygen. You've already seen that you can invoke Polygen like... Uh, moment. Okay. You can invoke it like this. You can type it through FMT to make it nicer. Well, you can pipe it through BIF, but then Andrew Safi doesn't deserve BIF, right? So it's more like of a chef. <laughs> but then, well, he's serious, I mean, in what he does, doesn't deserve, I mean, and you can do, well, other things, like... Uh, well, let's do the, the, the flame one. Hot babe. Well, you know that <laughs> cow say has many skins, so you can actually add uh, or use different like faces for it. I'm not going to use one at random because some of them are a bit gross, and so well. And well, that, that's the idea. Or if you are lazy, you can just have Polygon do it for you. of the author of Polygen. Alvise Spano is upstream, and there's a grammar with his biography. <laughs> <laughs> the Polygen website is uh, completely auto-generated by Polygen. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's in Italian. <laughs> Did I connect the cable? Up for the test? Stay there, do something. Alright. This, of course, 
<laughs> Changes, and these are all the grammars. Well, it doesn't read that well. This is like um, from, well, the, the, there's an English version. But they used to have an English website, but then they thought they only had Italian users, and then they packaged it for Debian, and they're hopeless. My goal is to force them to bring the website again. Uh, there was the... Uh, they had all sort of cool stuff to use for cool components for the website, and so on. It's pretty funny. And so that's nice introduction to Polygen. Uh, how much time do we have left? 20. 20? So what's your current issue that needs to be solved in Debian? Let's do it. Fix the website. <laughs> <laughs> I mean social issue. Last night's drinking. Last yeah. night's drinking? Too loud and... Too loud, too too loud singing. Too loud. Okay. That is at least on the mailing list. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know it, you were in it. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was sleeping 7 kilometers away and didn't even hear it. Oh, right, you cheater. Yeah. It's amazing you couldn't hear it like... You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so, uh, well, I had put down some ideas, actually, for the Polygen both. Okay, we have RC pickup line, done. <laughs> Update thread arguments, done. A subfield answer, done. <laughs> Oops, come back to me, okay. This is other ideas I had. <coughs> well, you know, writing change logs is a pain. Can we get a change log? Change log? <laughs> <laughs> I want random selected like bugs too. Yeah. <laughs> Change logs from one package? We can make a Brandon Robinson change log generator. You there! You there! You there! You there! You there! Yes! Alright! So. Okay, let's pick it up for. Um, let's pick some sample data. There. And so we have, all oh, right. Well, it's, uh, it will be a problem to make the version monotonic. Well, I hope you will bear that with me. Mm. So package, you dev, just in case, for future expansion. <laughs> uh, semicolon, finish that. And then we have package, parentheses, version, this is to avoid the space. You see there's no space here. Uh, unstable. We always release to unstable. No. no. Low probability stable. All right. So, yeah. this row. Stable, unstable, testing, experimental. Maybe I should Proposed put some updates. Yeah. <laughs> Proposed updates. Put some pluses. But unstable is not more probable. Yeah, just Right. Can you think of another one? Um, stable post updates. Oh, do you have stable? Security. Security updates. Se updates. Security dash updates. No. No. Oh, no. Post updates. I was thinking more of a. Stable. <laughs> Christian Marinat? Yeah. Something. Okay. Debian non legal. Non legal. <laughs> Alright. This row. And then again, no space. Urgency equals. Urgency. I medium low critical critical 
critical. Some would be completely in upper case. What? Some of them sometimes they're all in upper case. The all, all caps. People write them in all yeah. caps. Yeah. Archbishop is high. <laughs> right? <laughs> can we capitalize it? No, but we can actually solve it very easily. Bim helps. Uh, I was wondering how come it's um, colorized because I don't remember Vim having <laughs> colors or a poison grammar, but then it's for the, because of the change log. All right. <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then we have a couple of new lines. Oh, that's a bit sexist. That should be fucking now, dude or girl. Or do that. Or do that. Fucking now. Okay, good. Uh, and then we have uh, mm, many lines, uh, items. And then we have the sig. And two black lights. What? Two black lights. Yeah. Right, okay. Two empty lines, space dash dash. Maintainer. Would there be a problem with the capital for a non terminal, high, medium, low, critical? No, no that's Does quite that okay. I think it's, uh, everything is capitalized. These are non terminals I have to expand still. Yeah, but high, medium, low, and quick are... Oh, right. Yeah. You're definitely right. All right. Well, in this case, now that I think about it, it's polygon, right? <coughs> so why don't do... <laughs> we can, we do it, right? <laughs> Actually, it's always too bad because the test in script is a winner, isn't it? It's a great name. <laughs> right. Well, okay. The script is always a woman. Then we have the maintainer. Oh. And then we have one extra space. Okay. And the date. Okay. Well, I would put that in the maintainer. So, so we have to fix items. Uh, uh, urgency, high, medium, low. The, the upper line also needs to be coded. No, that's fine. They are small caps. Oh. So it's a line, <coughs> and then nothing or items again. Because we have many items. Plus in front of the items? Sorry? The pl plus sign inside the front of the items? Okay, to, to make it longer, we can add a plus sign here. And, uh, okay. And then we have the mm, maintainer. Um, <coughs> <laughs> Who can NMU this? <laughs> or, uh, are there possible NMUers? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, it's a question, could you actually ever so that if it was an enemy in a mute, it would, uh, like, like, um, it would toggle other options also, in other places. It would do what? That if it picks 
But if it chooses to say this is an NMU, yeah. then it would also let you would pick from one pool or sub pool of the maintainers, and it would also make the tag an NMU or not. Keep it simple. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not, no, 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 I think no, you can. You can do it with the modifiers. Okay. You can choose to, to generate like a non-terminal NMU or a non-terminal non-NMU. Yeah, okay, my question was, when it does it random, could it then, instead of randomly picking a maintainer, it could randomly pick if it was an NMU or not. And if it was an NMU, it should yes. take random yes. NMU for the NMU for the maintainers. Yeah. Okay. That is to do it now, but it's a problem. Sorry. Either, either an enemy one or a normal one. And that propagates down. So I say that, uh, well, normal. And then an enemy. Whatever. Just to. Put something. Put all the things. Okay. So what, what else changes with an NMU? We still need version terminals. So many. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We have the version and date at least. Right. So version. It's always zero dot. Yeah. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we have. Uh, Number one is uh, joint without space. Boring. Can't we help with that too? Too much. Without space, zero num. Another number. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let, let's do it like this, or num, yeah. or sorry, or possibly num, and let's concatenate it. All right, dash. Uh, just a number. <laughs> it's quite powerful. It's an unbelievably complex piece of software. It's really like I'm amazed by my upstream. <laughs> and then we need to make the line. Uh, it always closes a bug. <laughs> or insults people, maybe? No. <laughs> Closes the bug or just introduces a new one. <laughs> right. <laughs> introduces numbers. I need to recycle the digit. number, things, and so on. That's how they do it. There's also a dot space. And then... The uh, actually, <coughs> make the bug be a separate terminal so you can repeat it. But right. Yeah, I don't know. You need closer on your first parentheses. That's fine. Just want to make sure all right, close bug, we have it. There's a couple of spaces and the asteroid is stored. In the web? Oh, no, they're, they're okay, uh, I think. 
you haven't specifically yeah, made. All right, you're, you're very right. Cool. Actually, I only need one. The other is added by polygen. Or I can do both. And the polygen is not to bother. All right, then we have a verb <laughs> object. <laughs> And then context. Yeah. Well, let's make it simple. Yeah. Verb fix use and or uh, work. 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 Okay. <laughs> Marco is never very vulgar, except in English. So the object. Uh, Support uh, group for solo band. Temp FS uh, detection <laughs> report whatever <laughs> context. Context, uh, USB printers. <laughs> I mean, that's quite easy. You can add mount to the verbs and you mount. <laughs> uh, you dab what? So you could add mount or you mount to the verbs because it's you dab packets. All right. Uh, then one can add other things like. at the beginning of the lines. Right. Asterisk there. And then we need the date as well. Okay, let's comment. The comment syntax is strange, isn't it? <laughs> because Polygon is written in Ocamel. <laughs> which is the only language you could use to write this stuff. Because if you try to do that in C, you spend like eight years implementing the same thing. It, it has the complexity of GCC. <laughs> no, okay, but it's a really high level language, really good for writing all sorts of... It's uh, kind of like Prolog or something? No, it's more like Haskell, the sort of functional, but... And then, okay, date. You always work on a Sunday or on a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and then all right uh, we do what yeah, I asked if it's possible to run shell comments inside the grammar, but it's not implemented yet. <laughs> because I wanted to invoke Polygen. <laughs> <laughs> to recycle other grammars. 
But then Upstream answered me that he plans to do it in a more proper way by actually compiling the stuff all inside the other in a smart way. It's okay, so I respect your wish. You want to use Polygen to generate the grammar? <laughs> that can be done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's cut it short. Uh, was it? Uh, digit. Digit. You have the digit. I mean, it's a. <laughs> and then. And then it's plus yeah. one because we are in. Actually, if it's suffield, it should be plus zero. <laughs> so we should actually do it with a context as well and pick it up. But next, then, next version. Yeah, yeah. next version. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this yeah. doesn't need spaces in the beginning. <laughs> Works. There's one line too much. There's one line too much. Yeah. Yeah, Those lines too high, you need a third line. Because the line. Where's the line too much? Okay, ah, because it, it, it's got an end line, right. Yeah. And so it's up, 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 up. Yeah. It doesn't say there. There's the end. Yep. Uh, and yeah, you don't have bugs. Hey, hey, yeah, we're all the closest to a stable bug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, this draw, line it's got, uh, what was it? Uh, the closest. Oh, it's the closest. Line should have a closest. It's closest, but missing. Goes back number. All yeah. oh, right, I did not add it in the end of line. Close bug. <laughs> No. Capitalize the first letter and then the version number the extra faces. Yeah. The version yeah. number. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Cats. You didn't encapsulate them on the. Digit, digit, digit. Okay. Version. Concat, concat, and num. Okay. Here. Yeah. <laughs> um. You have really to hurry because uh, we have to leave <laughs> that building on time and everything you make longer you cut from the last one. All right. Sorry. So I think uh, we're done. Uh, we've seen how to post one to make one. Thank <laughs> you.